Good afternoon YouTube, my name is Brandon and today is going to be a fun project. If you have a family member that is a veteran uh, currently serving or formally or is a first responder whether it be police, fire or EMS, uh, this is a little tribute uh, to those folks. So with that being said, let's get going. So what I'm using here is, is some three quarter inch copper pipe that was left over from something, I'm not sure what. It was probably left over from when we did some remodeling. I just cut it up into equal length and get it ready for the next process. And now you can just see all the cut lengths. And what I do here is I'm going to split all four of them lengthwise, the whole length. Now that I've got the pipe all split down the length of it, I'm going to go back through and just use a pair of pliers and open it up and get it ready to flatten out. Now, you wouldn't think that this would be too difficult. Uh, you're just hammering out this metal, but I'll tell you what, your hand gets a little tired after a while. Um, I know I was feeling it. I had to switch back and forth from each hand. I didn't want one arm getting bigger than the other. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of work, a lot of hammering here. And the look I was going for is I really didn't want something smooth. You can buy this in sheets, uh, but I wasn't looking for that. I kind of wanted something rustic and uh, weathered looking, you know what I'm saying? And I just cleaned them up in the sink a little bit. And I'm going over them with some uh, sandpaper. So now I'm getting ready to join all these pieces together. And I'm using what's called emery cloth. It's uh, basically a heavy duty sandpaper. And I'm just sanding down all the edges of the metal that I'm going to be joining together. And then I'm going over it with a called Flux. That's the little container that you see that's closest to us now. And wipe on the Flux and then you just heat up the metal and just dab on that solder. And it's like a 60-40. I think it's like tin and lead solder. So the one thing I really was happy the way it came out with is as I was heating this up the metal was like warping so it kind of gave like a uh, wavy look to the project and I really like how that came out because I wasn't sure how I was going to bend this. I had intentions to uh, try to bend it after I soldered it, uh, but I didn't need to. It just automatically kind of warped on its own and it warped into a shape that I really liked. So now I'm just joining all these pieces up one for one until I get all four pieces connected. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting some 45s on some pieces of wood and what this is going to make is it's going to make a square box and it's going to be kind of like a shadow box. It'll make sense here in a little bit. I'm just putting some uh, glue on the corner joints and just shooting in two or three 18 gauge uh, nails in the corner. Now you'll see here that I don't do this all in one piece and I don't glue up the boards, I'm doing it as I go and the only reason for that is uh, it wasn't necessary. It's all going to be painted so I just glued it up in place, shot some nails and I'll run a sander over it and get it ready to paint. Now I didn't have to use uh, spray the way I'm doing it here but I had it. Uh, I had a little bit left. I can't remember what the project was, but I had a little bit left over in a can and I figured, well, I might as well use it, so I did. So now we're back to cutting up and flattening out some copper again. Uh, again, this is the same copper pipe. And what I'm getting ready to do is make some stars. So what I did was, is I drew out a star on a piece of paper. 
and then I took that star and now I'm tracing that on a piece of copper, all those little copper pieces. And then I just take a set of tin snips and I cut them all out. And I think I cut out 16 of these. So it's a little bit of cutting. So I figured the easiest way to make this little section was I just measured equidistance uh, across the top and the side and then just cut out that piece and rotated it uh, you know, 90 degrees. So uh, I think that came out alright and that's where the stars are actually going to get uh, adhered into place. And what I ended up doing for the, for the stars is I used a two part epoxy. Um, I think that's going to work okay. Um, they haven't come off. I considered soldering it. Um, but but I didn't. I thought the two-part epoxy might be a little bit easier, so that's what I did. This little element here will make sense in a minute. So now the next thing I need to do is I'm cutting out the next design pieces for this, and there's three pieces for this, and I'm going to cut those out each piece, and I'm going to be tracing it onto some copper, and then cutting it all out. So now that I've got all the design elements cut out for those three pieces, now it's just time consuming. Got to go through, uh, file everything, cut out all the little reliefs. It was a lot of work. Um, but you know, this is kind of where the details show and this is kind of what people are going to see. For me, I think this whole thing was kind of a, a powerful thing. This right here is a pair of boots and that's the Fallen Soldier's boots. And right there I'm cutting in the actual tread for the boots. Uh, you'll see that at the end. I did a nice close-up and took a picture of it. Um, so you can actually see like the tread of the soldier. Uh, it just kind of really gives it a, a nice classy finished look I think. So here's the relief for the soldier that's kneeling down. Um, and these are the cutouts uh, for you know his arm and uh, his leg. And now I move on to the rifle and start doing the cutouts for the rifle. I took the bulk out using the drill press and then I used a real fine file. So now what I'm doing is I'm building up some brackets because you can see here, see the wave of the flag now? Now I'm making little standoffs right here. And again, this is all just recycled copper pipes and because I want this to sit in front of the flag. It'll kind of make sense. Maybe the pair of boots. You can kind of see the thread that I, that I uh, filed in. And we also have a rifle, and that's going to be going on too. And that's going on right now. And I just clamped them and soldered those tabs on. So now you can see what those little standoffs were for to keep that flag off the back. And you can also see how it is a wave. And I'm just using copper coated nails for this. But you see how everything kind of warped when I. Uh, was soldering this together and it just gave a really natural flowing weathered um, kind of look to it and then it's got the soldier 
kneeling down. I just think it's really, really powerful. Uh, I really love how it came out. You see his tread up to his shoes. Um, I just feel like it's a real powerful piece, that soldier uh, kneeling down, um, paying tribute to a fallen comrade. And I'd like to close this out by saying what I normally say, and that's all there is to it. Uh, but there's a lot to it. Soldering that together and, you know, as you heat up one piece to try not letting it um, come apart as you do the next and you're heating it up. Um, it's a lot of work, but uh, it was definitely worth it. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, I wanted kind of that three-dimensional look. If you're a first responder, like I said in the beginning, if you served in the military currently or formerly, or you have a family member uh, that's in the military or even police, fire, or EMS, um, I want to thank you guys for all that you do and all the sacrifices you make. Take care. Thanks, guys. Stick around for the next one. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.